day, I went to see my grandpa. He's a Civil War veteran. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Mama. Here, Mama. Hey there, Shami boy. Guess what I learned in school today, Grandpa? What would that be? Well, first I learned about the burning of the Arso in, eight, in Harper's Ferry in 1861. Ah, oh, I remember that day well. Let me tell you the story. Finish loading these mattresses with black powder, wood chips, or anything that will burn. We need to finish soon. Yes, sir! Excuse me, sir. I meant to help. I know where there are more supplies for this task. I can show you, but without the other townspeople knowing. After the arsenal blew up and your grandfather left, I called a meeting with my friends. I wonder what's going to happen since the arsenal blew up. That terrified me. My husband Richard decided to go with his confederates. What are we going to do with the army's machine taken by the south by the confederates? What are we going to do about work? I know, but I'm scared for my husband and my brother James. Now they're fighting on different sides for different causes. Dear Gertrude, our boys are on one side of the Warwick River, and the rebels are on the opposite side. Three days ago, I saw some of them. Although we have not seen battle yet, we have kept busy with digging earthworks. One of the men working next to me fell ill with consumption. I heard he may not make it through the night. A bugle sa just sounded, and I hear the drums. I think we are soon to leave. Take care, my dear. I will see you after we take Richmond. Then what happened, Granddad? The whole Union campaign of 1862 was not successful. We took Yorktown, but later that spring, Lee attacked us and pushed us away from Richmond. But late summer, the war had moved north and we fought a second battle at Bull Run. Then did you and the Union win at Manassas? No, Lee won, but we would meet them in mid-September in Antino. You mean Sharpsburg and Arthur, you're leaving out the whole Harper's Ferry story. There was a story at Harper's Ferry? Yes, we, there were a lot of Union men here, guarding the railroad at Harper's Ferry. Lee sent Jackson here to spread our town. The Union wasn't strong enough and the Confederates he took over. So because you got shot, you had to have your arm cut off, Grandpa? I had to have my whole right arm amputated. But why did you go through all that, Grandfather? Why the sacrifice? After all, you lost your right arm. Well, we stopped the uh, Rebels' first invasion. We sent those rumors back to Virginia. But didn't the war go on longer? Yes, for over two years. And did you know what Lincoln did? No. What did he do? He issued the Emancipation Proclamation. It changed the whole war. The war was not about ending slavery, so it changed our whole country. Wow, he was really important. I will never forget the story I heard that day. My family and so many others helped to shape our country.